is part three of loose leash walking. And today we're still not doing any walking. We're really just gonna be hanging out with an open door. I really need to make sure that my buddy Cooper here does not have any anticipation that an open door equals something scary or exciting. In his case, it's um, he's nervous with the outside world. So I wanna keep his energy low so that by the time we do go out that door, his perception of this area is one of calm and peacefulness so that we can actually work on that loose leash walking. So really all you're gonna see today um, is us hanging out with an open door. And some of the things that I might notice with him, I'll comment on it. Um, and we might repeat it a couple of times, just approaching the door, opening it, and doing all those things again, but it's not gonna be a very exciting video. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is as I approach the door, I don't want him getting ahead of me. It has nothing do, to do with who's in what position. It's just that I, it's not good dory manners for him to go out the door without being told. Um, and I really don't need him scanning the environment. I just want him to kind of stick with me and follow my direction. So we're gonna approach. I might use that leash to put on the brakes a little bit to let him know where I want him. I shouldn't have to rely on that forever. After a while, he should understand that this is where I want him. So we're gonna open that door. I'll give him just a minute or so to kind of sniff. Um, explore, see it, but I'm not gonna let him step out. If at any moment he seems nervous, we're gonna turn around and start over. But either way, we're gonna turn around and start over because I wanna keep doing this same scenario. I want him to get lots of repetitions of this scenario. I don't want this to be the only one we practice today. Let's go, come on, go follow me. All right, so we're gonna repeat. Again, I'm gonna put on those brakes a little bit to let him know I don't want him going any further. We're gonna open that door. We've got a car passing. He did a great job. I'm gonna let him look now. And as for doorway matters, like this really is a visual barrier I want him to understand that you cannot cross just because the door is open. You're not gonna see a whole lot of treat giving today. This really is just about him having the chance to explore. We might, I might give a few treats here and there. Or if a trigger were passing by, I might go into the engage slash disengage game. <laughs> um, but you know, there's really not gonna be a whole lot of that today. Let's go. Go for it. those brakes. Very good. I barely had to apply any pressure that time. He stopped on his own. I'm going to step with him. Get a little closer. Good job, buddy. Really just letting him explore. Very good. Let's go. We're going to do it again. Good boy. Put on those brakes. Very good. Together. Again, his energy is really nice right now because this means nothing to him. Like in the past, his energy was high. He couldn't listen to me, he couldn't follow through with any commands. He was so alert and zoned in, fixated, even though there were no triggers. He was just fixated. He was scanning everything because he thought because the door was open, we were going out. But I want him to lose that idea. I don't want him to have that association with an open door, with approaching a door, with having a leash on, none of that. That's only gonna help us in our journey on loose leash walking. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. And that constant repetition where we are always approaching the door and we are always doing it, that really matters. Don't just try to stay here with the door open for 10 minutes straight in the first session. Really give him or her that those repetitions of approaching the door. Cooper, good boy. Let's try that again, buddy. Good boy. He's becoming a little less interested each time. I do notice him starting to look at me, looking back here. Those are all great things. I don't need him to be so fixated on that environment. I want him to feel calm. Good job, buddy. This is why it's so important you don't rush through this step. So just 
just know I've had Cooper for almost two weeks um, and we have not stepped foot out this door yet. <laughs> he came to me and we came through this door when he first got here, but that's it. He has not been out for a walk and I do not plan on walking him until we have those skills down. Let's go. Good boy. Let's go, honey. Now, the next step is we're just going to kind of hang out here with an open door, and this is where I'm going to end it. I have a few more minutes that I want to practice this with him. He sees a car passing by, and I want to just hang out with the door open, and I want to see how he handles that. Excuse me, buddy. Back. Good job. All right. We'll leave the door wide open, and we're just going to hang out here for the next few minutes. It would be great if he decided to lay down, but I don't know that that's gonna happen in this session. But that is gonna be my ultimate goal. I really wanna practice him settling here with the door open, or even if he just simply gives me a down or even a sit, something that's a little more relaxed than what he's doing. If he can relax here, then I know that we are ready to move on, but we're probably gonna be stuck here for a few days. And we may even practice this a few times a day, even if it's for five minutes, several times a day. I love that he's backing away. He's listening to other noises, not as concerned. This is it. This is all we're doing. the next video again that next video is probably going to just be us moving on out there